Hi programmers, today we're going to work on creating a separate class so that we can um, do data I.O. and I've already done this once, that's the reason I've got the thing, the class up, but we're going to create a new one. And uh, you just you know, right click this, pick add new item, and we want a class. And we've already got a data one, so we're going to say data two. That's just telling us it's going to stick in the app folder. And um, anyway, we have to add these database libraries. And then you can add a title block if you want to. And then we need some um, uh, variables. We've got our constant string, and then um, I've got these uh, variables that I'm going to store information that I get from the database. Right now my PC is turning up on me. Let's see. Yeah, it's trying to pull it up. And this here is church data. And on the connection string, you're going to have to get that address from your hosting company. Okay. And I'm not going to display the final one. And, um, all right, what else do we do? We need a class. And the class that I got is I named it select one row, and I'm going to send it a string of a table name, and I'm going to send it a string of a SQL command, and it returns a string. All righty. And uh, we'll just copy that in there. Okay, now then what we're going to do here is we set our return value as basis, and then I've got a line counter of IX. I open my SQL database because this is the SQL. Uh, database that's on the web server and uh, then I open the reader and I send it the command and I read and everything that I read I send to these variable names and then I set the return value as each variable name and I have a filter character as a separator and I increment I as my line counter and that's it and if you have more tables you can have uh, more cases which I do in other programs but for this one, we're going to do something simple, okay? And then, after I've done all the reads, I close the database, and then I do a return. And if the line counter is zero, that means we didn't find it, and we say invalid password, and we return that. Alrighty. And then, when we're done, you copy the website over to your site. And, you know, like you can see, I've got data two here now, and I'm going to copy that over. And uh, he's on there now. And so hopefully next time, maybe next week, we'll get around and we'll try to do something with that data. We'll, you know, have a login page or we'll do something to make sure it works, okay? Well, let's see if we can close this.